uh, hey, question for you. I have an assignment where I have to work with ECS and I have to instantiate missiles, but I don't understand ECS at all. So who's assigning you Who's assigning you an assignment about ECS and hasn't taught you about it at all? <laughs> I want to talk to that professor. But um, basically, in a, in a nutshell, uh, ECS stands for Entity Component System. It's an architecture, an architectural design pattern um, where basically you define components. Um, that's kind of like the crux of your code is you define components that hold data, state data. Um, so for instance, a component could be position, and that would hold X, Y, and Z, or for like a play, maybe you might make a player component that would hold uh, some metadata about the player, like health. Um, and then, so you have those components and these, each of these components work together to create an entity. So you have an entity that consists of multiple components. And then the S, the systems, you create systems that all, their whole job is just to act on components. So you might have a compo uh, you might have a system that's called the player health system. And it's going to only be interested in entities that have a component, uh, the player component, for instance. And then it'll just track the health. And so all those pieces work together um, architecturally to basically, that's how you write your entire project. Um, and that's kind of why I think some people hate it and some people love it. Because when you do use ECS, um, it's like, that's your whole project. Like you, you, it's so coupled, the design pattern is so coupled to how you uh, architect the entire project that there's no like hybrid ECS, you know, it, you can't really go do a half measure. It's like, I feel like you're, it's either in or out kind of like, um, MVC, you know, when you, when you make an MVC application, like there's, there's no middle ground. Any thoughts on that, Jason? Oh, no, it's pretty much it. Like it's one of those, um, like you make a good point. It's one of, it's, it's an architecture, right? It's like you're building a framework, and if you're, uh, if you try to tack on different things to the side of it, you're you're going to break its fundamental design. So, ECS by nature requires you to lean in hard on the idea, and yeah. quite frankly, I'm not ready yet. And most of the projects I've <laughs> I've had to work on, um, like there's some features missing from ECS, like right down to the, now this version's a lot better, but before this, you couldn't even use things like um rigid body physics at all like you just couldn't use physics with ecs and so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things I, like i don't want to get to the point where i'm using uh, ecs on a project and all of a sudden there's a feature i just took for granted would be available and it isn't and it's like mm -hmm. oh and it's not like i can just tack it on not ecs you have to lean in with the whole thing so if there's a missing feature there's a missing feature so it's not quite as um uh production ready even now like uh, it's good for projects to learn and i think i honestly do think ecs will be the way to go for games going forward i've mentioned before overwatch is built using a entity model and um a lot more games than people think actually are it's just not as advertised um but it will soon become i think the de facto way for a lot of projects it's just i just don't want to <laughs> not until it's ready <laughs> so i'm just not going to lean in myself yet <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i w I would say, you know, maybe familiarize familiarize yourself with the the pattern just so you can understand it, and then you can play around with it. But yeah, no, don't expect to be able to use it on any pro, uh, projects. In fact, when I was developing that ECS series, I got to a point where I realized that there was no animation um, aspect that that was fleshed out yet or implementation. And so I got to the end and I was like, oh gosh, this looks awful. Like I'm not going to be able to finish th this tutorial series. And I think I literally just said at the end, like, well. I can't animate it, so... Uh, yeah, so good I luck, use, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 